Today on MTG Unpacked, we're finally taking a look at the Jace Signature Spellbook. So, I heard about the Gideon Signature Spellbook coming up, and I thought, you know what, I should really pick this up. This came out last year, so that was 2018. Let's take a look. You can sculpt minds in style. Outwit your opponent with this dazzling collection of iconic spells featuring Jace Spillerin. You also receive one random bonus version of one of these cards in gorgeous premium foil. Okay, so they just spoil it there right away, but you get an extra foil card. So I'm curious what we'll get. And I guess that's an excuse to pick up more than one of these. Uh, these are going for about 20 bucks, I believe, on Amazon last I checked. Or from your local game store. I don't think they really flew off the shelves. And I like the cool foiling here on the packaging. That's something cool. And you might have noticed poor Jace. He lost an extra finger the other day. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe he uh, got it bitten off by Nicole Bolas or something. Alright, so. Okay, this is interesting. We've got some of this weird goop. The mind can be your greatest weapon or your greatest weakness. Okay, he is fond of wonderful quotes, isn't he? All right, so we'll pop that over there. Get this goop off. And is this something you have picked up? Are you planning to get the Gideon deck? Let's take a look at the packaging here. So sort of like a booster pack here. Do we have any odds information here? I'm not sure that I see anything about the foils. Nope. Alright, let's crack it open. Is there any special way to do this? I guess not. Okay. Fingers crossed we get a nice foil. Let's take a look. Oh, I guess this is our foil right on the front here. Negate! Instant for two, counter target non creature spell. And that sort of looks like the From the Vault foiling they use. Pretty cool. Okay. Oh, and it feels like it as well. Very different sort of foiling approach. Okay. Next up we have Threads of Disloyalty. Enchantment Aura for three. Enchant creature with converted mana cost 2 or less, you control enchanted creature. Every thought is a string, you just have to find the right ones to pull. There he is. Jace is being the puppet master. I don't know if anyone remembers that card. Uh, was it in Ravnica Allegiance where Jace, there's a Jace puppet. If you can remember the name of that one, leave a note in the comments. I can't quite recall it at this point. Okay, and another negate. Well, that's not very exciting. So just a regular non-foil. Mystical Tudor. Instant for a single blue. Search your library for an instant or sorcery card and reveal that card. Shuffle your library, then put the card on top of it. It's not just what you know, it's knowing where to find what you don't. Another pithy saying there. Thank you for that, Jace. I guess they had to fill out the text on the card somehow. Next up we have Gifts Ungiven. So instant for four. Search a library for up to four cards with different names and reveal them. Target opponent chooses two of those cards. Put the chosen cards into your graveyard and the rest into your hand. Then shuffle your library. Alrighty. I just noticed they got the little... Uh, hologram thing down here for each of these. Are these all rares? It's looking like they're all rares. Counterspell! Here's a classic instant for two. Blue. Counter target spell. Can't get more clearer than that. There we are. Jace. It's fire versus water. Wonder if Chandra's on the other side there. Okay, Brainstorm, instant for a single blue. Draw three cards and put two cards from your hand on top of your library in any order. Okay, so a bit of a switcheroo and uh, combining that with something like scrying so you know what's on the top of your deck. 
I have a plan, actually I have three. Another fantastic saying there, blue elemental blast, instant for a single blue. Choose one, counter target red spell, or destroy target red permanent. And contrary to popular wisdom, I find it's best to fight fire with its opposite. And is there a red elemental blast? Leave a note in the comments, I can't quite remember if there is or not. And here we are, this is pretty cool, we get a Planeswalker card. You might have seen this one quite a bit in the recent Chaos boxes we've been doing on the channel. So for May 2019 the theme was Jace and actually that's another thing that reminded me I should uh, review this on the channel. Legendary Planeswalker Jace, 3 loyalty for 3 mana plus 2, each player draws a card. Minus 1 target player draws a card. Minus 10 target player puts the top 20 cards of their library into their graveyard. So this is one of those things you could either mill out your opponent or if you have that card where the win con is you milling yourself, you could do that as well. So very cool and different artwork. I think these are all unique artwork for this set. Is that what they, they say on the back here? Doesn't quite say, but yeah, I think it's unique artwork. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus a foil. Okay, so nine cards, and one of the cards here you're going to get an extra. So actually, yeah, if you pick up a couple of these, you would have some play sets, possibly. All right, so that is the Jace Signature Spellbook with the foil box here. Leave a note in the comments what you think of this. Is it a cash grab or are you a Jace fan? You actually appreciate this? Because if you're looking at, what, nine cards, if it's $20, like $2 something each, um, some of these I think are worth less than that, but the Jace is probably more. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new video is released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.